All right, uh, in today's video, we're going to take a look at a little bit more about what we looked at last video with compounds um, versus, mi or sorry, mixtures versus substances. And I kind of want to take a look at the hierarchy or the flow chart of matter. Here's this kind of cool picture uh, I've got from the book. Uh, you can see everything's matter. If it takes up space, air is matter, liquids are matter, gases are matter, solids are all matter. So everything on earth is matter. If it's a homogeneous, if it's not a mixture, so we talked about that last time, if it's matter, it's a pure substance, it's like, say, sugar, or water, or gold. If it's water, which is a compound, it's H2O, the only way to get it to an element is by using chemical methods. And what you actually have to do to get water to turn into H and O separately is you have to use electricity to force the H and O's apart. But that's a chemical method. It requires energy. If you have, two mix if you have a mixture, whether it's homogeneous or heterogeneous, to get it to become a pure substance, you then have to, you have to actually do a physical method of separation. So today's video is all about separation. You might remember the Red Hot Chili Peppers had a song, you gotta keep it separated, whoa, whoa. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna keep things separated. And in the next slide, I'm gonna show you a couple interesting ways that chemists, chemists separate things. So this, this actually is a method, this, this picture gives you a method, and this is called this is very, uh, we're going to do this in class, but this is called distillation. And distillation is a method of separation of a substance, uh, of a mixture, be based on a difference in boiling point. So, using a difference in boiling point. So, for example, in this picture, we have a salt solution. A solution is a new word, and it is another word that means homogeneous mixture. So, if you hear me say solution, you can think homogeneous mixture. In this particular picture, the homogeneous mixture we have is right here, and it is salt water. So, what we're going to do is we're going to heat the salt water up and of course the two things in salt water are salt and water but right now they're mixed we want to get them to pure substances we want salt and we want water well it turns out that water boils at hundred degrees Celsius salt remains as a solid it doesn't even turn into a liquid until you're thousands of degrees Celsius so it probably doesn't surprise you that the salt will boil much or the water will boil away before the salt even changes to a liquid. So by boiling the water, we turn it into steam. The steam comes down here through this cooling section, this cooling tube. We have, we'll have water running through here, and it condenses. Here's that word, condense. That water, that steam here, turns back into a liquid, and we can collect the liquid. And we now have pure water here, and what we're left with here is salt. This is a, uh, an example of a distillation. You can do a distillation with two liquids as well. If we mixed uh, water and alcohol, say you, you had a bottle of vodka and you wanted to get rid of the alcohol. Well, you could boil it. Alcohol boils before water. You would have this same setup, and what would come dripping out down here would be pure alcohol, and what would be left up here would be the water. So that's one physical method of separation, and it's called distillation. The second one is this on the next slide. This is called filtration, as you see here. And in filtration, we again have a, a mixture. So here's a mixture of a solid and a liquid. It's some water um, with some sand and some salt. So this is salt water and this is sand. So filtration uses paper. We have something called filter paper, which we'll get, exp we'll get exposed to in, in class. Um, a paper towel is filter paper, essentially. Uh, we, we buy fancier paper, basically bounty, um, but it's, it comes in circles, and we, we call that filter paper. And what the filter paper allows us to do 
is as we pour this sand salt water mixture through, here in this funnel is the filter paper and the water and salt will travel through to the bottom. So we get down here the salt water. This is a, a word here, this is a, a word to know, this is called the filtrate. The filtrate, when you're doing a filtration, here's filtration, uh, the filtrate is the liquid that's left behind. So now we have our sand trapped in the paper, so we can then scrape that off and dry it, and then what we have left here is our salt water, and of course we know how to get salt water to salt and water. We would have to use another physical method, which is distillation, which we talked about in the last slide. So in class we're going to, we're going to do both some distillation and um, some filtration, so you get familiar with these methods, and to become the best chemist you can be, you need to, to be able to do both of these, and they'll come in handy at the chemistry party, as, as you'll see at the end of the year.